Um, this was something I wanted to bring to attention to people, and I'm sure if other people have noticed it's quite obvious. Um, where, where I want to talk about starts is, um, there have been many discussions lately on YouTube about, um, feminism, um, with some people. I'm one of those people that's been in those topics. No, I'm not pro-feminism. <laughs> Let's just get that clear. Um, I'm a humanist, actually, so I am both for men and women and their rights. Um, but back to my point, um, I noticed a lot of people are more fighting than actually discussing or, or having a productive argument. Um, and they are making public videos through that and of course this is YouTube, we can do that and we can have anything we want on our pages, hence our page. Um, but uh, there's this girl named Nuclear. She is a feminist and she posted a response to someone named TJ who is a um, very popular YouTube user and he made a video about feminist, fe I mean sorry, feminism and that he thinks it sucks. She did a response to that. Of course she was opposing and um, someone named Matt, another YouTube user, he made a video um, about her because he got went against the things she said and didn't agree with them and had his own personal opinion about it. Well, um, his video wasn't the most positive way to do that. Um, and so, uh, this girl Nuclear has one of her friends antique something, um, who made a video about people trolling her friend Nuclear. Uh, basically a defense video about her friend, um, which understands her friend, she wants to do that. Um, but personally, I think things like that, making defense videos for people, I feel like YouTube users, many of them, they eat up the attention. I feel like this nuclear girl, I say nuclear because that is her, uh, it's part of her um, YouTube name, I don't remember it at the moment, um, is eating up the attention from this video that this guy Matt on YouTube made because she, you know she didn't have to have people go and make um, defense videos for her she didn't need her she didn't have to go tell her friends to do that she could have taken her time she could have been the better person message Matt and talk to him and said you know I of course we don't agree can you take the video down and we'll talk about this um, or you leave your video up um, but can we talk about it anyways? I don't think that was done. Um, if anyone wants to know if that was really done, I have no problem asking that. Um, but do you see what I mean? Instead of this being privately taken care of, a video that was chopped up of her that was made about her and it was um, she didn't like, and instead of you know going personally to the person privately discussing it where no one has to know about it, a big spectacle had to be made more about it. So now there's a defense video about her. So people are going to leave comments on that defense video. I was one of them. Um, so I'm not saying I'm any different than anyone else. Um, other people are going to do it, making more issues, more videos, and some people may think this means we're moving forward with these type of discussions. That is that is negative reinforcement. I don't feel negative reinforcement is the correct way to go about things. Um, so basically that's my point. I feel not just um, the people in this feminism debate do this, but I feel a lot of YouTube users do this. They eat up the attention through fights, through confrontations. Um, and I see a lot of people get riled up. That's my issue basically. Those that get riled up. Don't get riled up. It's an act. It's for fun. It's entertainment. Um, another example I can give, there's the famous ginger kid on YouTube. Um, and someone made a not-so-pleasant video about him and about his rants he does on his YouTube page. Uh, yeah, they're subscribed to each other and friends of each other's on YouTube. When I noticed that, I'm like, is anyone else noticing how they're subscribed to each other and their friends on here? Um, it's basically entertainment that they're doing. They're mooking people on here. It's just for, for fun, entertainment, for most of it. So I feel 
it's brought up through confrontations a lot for people to get entertainment and attention. Um, and I think that's kind of sad. Um, I'm not telling people not to post videos that about confronta confrontational subject, because um, it's fine and it's healthy for people to talk about things such as feminism and other things. Um, but I think people are getting a little out of control with the attention gag part of it. Um, and I think people should stay on more subject and not slip up with how they present themselves on here. Because honestly, it makes you look stupid. Um, and I'm sure others don't agree with me, and I feel as though you won't agree with me because you don't really understand what I'm saying. Um, but I made my point, and that's basically one I wanted to get out, that they're enjoying the tension, uh, they know what they're doing, <laughs> um, and that it's not that much work to fight over once you realize that they're doing this to pawn for attention. That's it.